Ian, Sasha, good to see you both. Welcome to Pop Alternative. Thank you for having us. Um, Ian, it's interesting because, you know, the screen to script journey is like one of my favorite things to talk about. So I'm just curious, you know, reading the script for the last front and then actually going and filming it and doing the thing. What was that like for you specifically journey wise? It was it was complicated. It was delayed because of uh, COVID, you know, so we, we all kind of fell in love with the script as actors uh, and um, we thought it was happening. And then it kind of got uh, delayed and prolonged. And it, when it sort of fell through because of COVID, it was quite late in the day. The insurance company, I think, had uh, pretended that they had no problem. They could cope with COVID. No one knew where it was going, but it was going to be fine. And then the whole thing folded and all our hearts sank, I think. But when we eventually got there, the main thing is when you your first introduction you have as a as a as an actor or or trying on these wonderful costumes. You know, the first thing I took off the rail felt really good, and uh, you know, you get those set of shoes on, and then um, again, just makeup wise, having a just deciding what the look would be, and um, and then you get to these remarkable sets, and they were really really beautifully. And the art direction was absolutely fantastic of, on on the film. Every set that we turned up to was the kind of the real deal. It was literally um, of the period with uh finessed by the art department so it was a it was a very happy journey after the covid hiccup it was a happy journey well it's a really good segue sasha to my next question because ian said it perfectly i mean so much happens before you go to camera on the last front right there's so much discussions <laughs> figuring everything out so in a lot of ways from a storyteller actor perspective you can see it as two journeys right before filming the last front and after filming the last front or do you see it as one big journey with multiple steps in between from an acting storyteller perspective? I, I think it's definitely kind of, it's a one journey for sure. You know, like in this case, it was kind of a little, you know, we stumbled and there was a little hiccup and blah, 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 but we, we got there. But as soon as you read the script, as soon as you kind of know that that's your role, the journey starts. Even if you're doing something else, if you're working on something else, it's still somewhere in the back of your mind. You know, you have, well, in my case, Louise, like, what would she do? It's 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 almost like she's somewhere, you know, and I'm not talking about straight personalities, but she's somewhere there. And finally, as, you know, Ian said, when once you get to put on the costume and, you know, it's camera set, go, you're like, wow, okay. It, it Of course, it, it becomes much more real. And then suddenly, you know, you're in set, but... But the journey is always there. The story is always there. And you feel kind of, and you know, like you watch a movie and you're like, oh, this is a good idea for my character. Or you do some, see someone making this like peculiar gesture and you're like, oh, that would work for Louise. So it's it's always kind of somewhere around you. And then, but then it makes it sad, you know, because once the movie is wrapped, you're like, damn, because you have to say goodbye to this character. And it's like really sad, almost like, ah, I want to hold you a little longer. But then you kind of, but then you're kind of, we revisit it a little bit for press, right? Because you're, like, you're talking about it now. So. I'm revisiting it right <laughs> now, yeah. Well, you kind of majorly revisit when it premieres, you know, <laughs> the premiere in, in Belgium, and then you're kind of, oh, but you're completely revisiting it. And, and, and it kind of, you, sometimes it can be quite a, you know, it quite can be quite a disconcerting. I've absolutely had the experience of watching things and thought, I actually went to see a film I did in, in Germany where where there was the German version dubbed and the English version. And I looked at the English version and then I went to look at the German version dubbed and I thought, oh God, I prefer the German version. I'm not much enjoying the English version. <laughs> I always do this. But with this one, it was absolutely, everything was enhanced. I kind of went to the premiere and thought I was really, really blown away by the visuals. I thought the way it had been pieced together uh, editorially was fantastic. The whole kind of the the soundtrack, the the yeah, the edit, and and the look of the film as a whole was 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 really strong. I thought so. It was a good journey. It was a good hit. Well, you know, it's per it's perfect segues to my next question. It's almost like you both know like what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's interesting because you, you established, you know, when it kind of sinks in the premiere and then, you know, Sasha said it great about, you know, you rap and then it's kind of on to the next. So I'm just wondering because, you know, both of you have an incredible body of work and I just want to hear from both of you about this. We'll start with Ian. I mean, how separate are past projects and journeys like versus like new projects like do you take things mindset wise character wise from something like game of thrones to something like the last front that they're completely separate once you wrap and then sasha like you with like something like Anna. like i'm just curious like are they completely separate or do you bring kind of experiences to you to something like the last front i'm curious ian 
Um, you no, know, the truth is, I, you know, I, I, I say it's slightly jokey, but there is a truth. There is a kind of superficiality to certainly me as an actor <clears throat> in the sense that um, in the moment, as I get to know a project, I am completely uh, uh, I'm completely absorbed in that. I'm a total tart to the thing that I'm doing and I'm totally involved in it. And the moment it finishes, I forget all about it. I forget all about it and I move it and I do the next thing and I get completely absorbed in that. Um, and there's a sort of run up to that. And so, but in every project that you're involved in, you, you've got to carry, it's a bit like life in any new relationship. You've got to have a little bit of the old relationship with you that hopefully you won't make the same mistakes and have the same sort of fuck ups as you did in the last. So things, things evolve and things change, but in the moment I'm, I'm very, very, uh, lost in it and I honestly admire directors so much who have to prep to get there uh, you know it dominates their lives we turn up at the 11th hour do the fizzy visible bit that everyone thinks is you know hopefully you know we saw that we thought you were and and you're front you you get gifted everything that everyone else has done because you're carrying it and you're the thing that's moving in the camera uh, and then you leave it and depart and forget all about it so you know, I I I think I'm so lucky as an actor. I honestly I I I love it as much now as I did when I you know left Rada back in the day. Um, it's still the same thrill, and part of that thrill is thinking that we are so spoiled, we're so looked after, we're so sort of you know we get the best of everything, um, hopefully. And the trade off for that, which is totally alien to most people, is this weird thing of suspending disbelief to pretend to be other people, which the most of Joe public look at and think, ah, there, what, what on earth would you want to do that for? So, yeah. Absolutely. Sasha, before we wrap up, what about you about like past projects? Cause I do find that really interesting because like the life of a storyteller really is in a lot of ways, like you said, Ian, like it's really on to the next, right? So. Yeah, it is on to the next, but whatever, you know, it's like in life, your experience stays with you. And if, like, and if you've done something once, you know, like, I don't know, if, I'm even talking about little things. I don't know. Like you've learned how to write horses, you know, you know, like on your next project that you can do it. And the same goes to your, like how you can stretch your emotions and what you can do. And I, I do agree with you and completely like, we're so, so, so lucky with what we do. Um, and I love, love, love this job, but it does get hard, you know, and sometimes you go through this emotional, horrible depth. Like, it's just you, like, I remember filming like, you know, uh, the last run and there is a scene when I have to cry and I'm like and I couldn't get there and then you start picturing things and that's something you don't want to bring mm -hmm. you know to your next project but but everything else the experience the beauty the joy everything everything stays oh, and I feel like it's it's actually really exciting to do like you know if you if you did a comedy you want to kind of go on to do like I don't know a drama and then do something else just to because that's what's exciting that's the nature of this job and that's what's so thrilling Absolutely. I can't wait for people to check out The Last Front. Uh, Ian, Sasha, so great chatting with you both. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.